Yo, Vaisant here. So in this video, we're going to talk about Pro. Pro wasn't my first pick as a DPS. I do like playing melee DPS. And the game just gave me this. So I have like four copies of Pro. So now he's my main DPS because of that. And we're going to talk about the character and the attack combos and stuff like that. Hopefully you find this video helpful. So this is my team. It's a balanced team with Pro as the DPS, Zero as my healer, and Mirror as my shield breaker slash tank, pretty much. And we have my matrix for the Thunderblades is the rare matrix chips that actually give bolt damage. And then I have a stat stick that I got from the gacha. I wish I had two, but I don't. <laughs> I got lucky. And so we can go over his character real quick just to get this out of the way. So at three star, you get this cool skin. I, I really enjoyed the skin. This is the first skin, help? right? This is the, the skin at three star. And we can see his, his chart. He's very optimistic, like hiding in dark, like kittens. He doesn't like horror stories too much and drinking Billy kind of sucks. Kind of like me. So I guess I kind of relate. This is the, the art and this is the regular art, obviously. Back to the weapon, Thunderblaze. We're gonna go over this real quick. So I have three star weapon. That means I got four copies. And he has a B shatter rank and an A rank for charge. And his attack is pretty high for this character. He's a volt type. All the volts kind of the same when the weapon's fully charged. You can do paralyzing effects on the enemy, move their, their buffs and stuff like that. And he can't get buffs for the next six seconds. So when it comes to advancements, which is like the star rank rating here, I got three star. If you have zero, the back attacks don't matter too much. But once you start getting to C1 uh, or one star all the way up, if you want to maximum damage, you got to hit enemies from behind. Because you can increase crit rate from hitting them from behind. And then if they're electrified while you're hitting them, you get extra crit damage as well. right? And you're, you, you guarantee crit. So at three star, you get increased damage if they have less HP. You give them 30% more damage. And then at five star, when you hit them from the back, you guarantee crit for the next four seconds and crit damage increased by 50 seconds. Cool down to 10 seconds. At six stars, you increase your both damage after using a skill, which is like your Q, right? I'm on keyboard, by the way. Uh, I don't know how mobile works, so hopefully you guys can translate it if you're playing on mobile. I think it's better to show you guys the gameplay and explain combos as I'm doing it instead. So we're gonna, this is the movement, right? We got the jump, we got the double jump, we got the crouch, we the Z. And then we have the basic combos, right? It's like a five, five pit slash, I believe. And then after doing like the third attack, if you hold it, you go straight into the air. And then in that, you can transition. We have air attacks, right? Boom, boom, boom. Five hit combo here. Does like a bounce off air molecule thing at the end. <laughs> Double jump is kind of the same thing. Okay. So the way it mostly works is that since you, you don't have high shadow rate, right? You usually switch to another character that destroys the shields. Right. Once the shields are gone, you switch to them. That's a discharge. I guess we'll go over this now. If you discharge, you automatically blink to the enemy, or like close to the enemy, and then you summon three blades coming out, and it hits them. Okay? And pretty much if you do the skill here, it's pretty similar, except it goes outwards. But while you're doing this, you have hyper body, so you don't get interrupted and stuff like that. So that's pretty good. Um, I kind of killed the enemy, so I gotta, I gotta find another one to show off combos. Uh, that won't die so easily. Let's see here. You know what? While I'm here, we're gonna show you sneak attack. He actually got extra damage if he does a sneak attack. So what you want to do is crouch and hit them from behind while crouching. All right. This is gonna take a while to get there. We gotta sneak. Welcome to Discovery Channel, guys. We're hunting a honey badger. Once you get behind, you just hit the attack button. Boom! Sneak attack. 15k. 
All right, let's find another enemy that I can like wham at. So he does have a blink for his movement, which is pretty cool. You can go through enemies and stuff like that. This will help you a lot when you actually need to hit enemies from behind. Okay, you just blink behind him, and his regular attack. If you were to click the button, is the boss even here? The boss is dead. <laughs> All right, let's just go somewhere else. So if you click on them, you automatically blink to them as well, which is cool, or dash them. I don't know, whichever you want to go with. So the my combos that I usually do after you shield break them, if you want to, is that you can do your five hit combo, or yes, your five hit combo on the ground. And at any time after the third one, you just hold it and go into the air, right? And then you do your regular 5 hit combo. He does have this thing, though. If you hold it in the air, he does, like, a dash. I apparently hit a mountain. It does do stamina, though. Like, all aerial attacks. It's pretty nice. Apparently, I don't use stamina at the moment. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, we found an enemy. I don't know if it's because I'm lagging or something. Alright, so that's the 5 hit combo, right? Thing dies too quick. Alright, let's break the shield first. Alright. Oh no, I'm gonna kill it. Alright. Better yet, just go to the bygone path as in enemies will last longer skill right you want to destroy the shields first but anyway this swap You need enough, enough endurance, right? Build up the endurance here. There's a regular combo. You can dash, you go behind, right? Get the extra dash, the back attack. So what I like to do after I break your head is this is my full combo. If you can do this, that'll be great. So I do have a regular attack, and after the third one, right? I hold up, I go in the air, I hit it, do my condition thing, and then dive back down, dash. So then I get back on them. Of course, if you have skill, you have your body. Alright. One more thing is that if the boss or the enemy is big enough, you can actually get multiple dive attacks on them. But you have to be above them and then get a get a hit in at a good angle. Um, so Soulback is probably a good example here. I don't have Claudia SSR chip that if you hit, you can jump again and do more dive attacks. I don't have that. So another best way is that you want to have the jetpack, right? You can see in the video right here, you want the jetpack, you can go up all the, you want to be high enough so that you can get more of the dive attack on him. And you can hit multiple times, it's very nice. So that's one way to handle things. Um, if you can get that landing on there, it's a nice trick. Of course, with dive attacks, you can also do that off the wall, right? You just get high enough and then, do some dive attacks here. And you just hold, click the attack button, right? And then you just end up rolling. I think a lot of characters have that, so just just one to brought out there in case. All right, I just want to quickly go over this mechanic here, where you do need a jetpack, and pretty much all you do is open the jetpack, and then you automatically hit the attack button, and you just dive. It's super quick. Right, so you just open jetpack, dive. You don't even need it locked as long as you're close enough. But if you aren't close enough, then, um, or to just be sure, you can make sure you have that lock on them, and then you can just keep diving. I like to double jump sometimes, but there's specific mobs that you don't need to double jump on, and then it'll be quicker. Uh, I'll go over that in another video, so make sure to subscribe and stuff like that. Uh, that'll be coming up soon, actually. <laughs> 
But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick basic overview video and combo that I found. Let me know if I'm missing anything. All right, uh, I am on Solarius and my my crew is Venerous. If you guys want to join, it's open. Um, and with that, I do stream on Twitch. So come free, check it out. I've been playing a lot of this game. So <laughs> later days.